Hello everyone and welcome to another Doctor Who Big Finish review. This time I shall be taking a look at the final 10th Doctor Adventures story from the second series which is Cold Vengeance. Once again this stars David Tennant as the 10th Doctor along with Billy Piper as Rose Tyler and the main villains for this one are the Ice Warriors who are voiced by Nicholas Briggs and as you can see these are the same sort of look of Ice Warriors as what was seen in the Matt Smith story Cold War as well as the Peter Capaldi story Empress of Mars. The front cover is really cool we've got the 10th Doctor and Rose with the Ice Warrior in the background in what is like the ice cavern of a spaceship as this is an adventure which is set in the future. As the Ice Warriors are green and most of the background is green, the vortex behind David Tennant on this little strip thing here is also green. Very, very fitting. We have a look at the spine. We also have more greenness and it just says there at the bottom it is release 2.3. We have David Tennant at the top. So if you're looking at it on the shelf, you'll know that this is a Tenth Doctor adventure. This story was written by Matt Fitton and yet again, like the other Tenth Doctor audios in this run, it was directed by Nicholas Briggs. The TARDIS arrives on Cold Star, a vast freezer satellite packed with supplies to feed a colony world. But there are cracks in the ice, and something scuttles under the floors. Soon, Rose and the Doctor encounter robots, space pirates, and refuse collectors. As Cold Star's tunnels begin to melt, an even greater threat stirs within. An old enemy of the Doctor puts a plan into action. A plan for retribution. Nobody's vengeance is colder than the Ice Warriors. The cast includes Lord Haskor and Commander Slan. These are, of course, Ice Warriors. These are played by Nicholas Briggs. We have Lorna, Brona Volta, Callum Volta, and the management slash Bert. And most of these are to do with the Cold Star crew and the Space Pirates. Overall, pretty damn good cast, I'd say. And all the characters they play are pretty engaging. Here we have the alternate cover, and here we have the disc. And likewise, with all of the other releases in this second run of 10th Doctor audios, the advertisement underneath the disc, if you pull the disc out, will be for the first series of 10th Doctor audio adventures. Right, so what do I think of Call Vengeance? Well, I've got to say right off the bat. I think that the villain in this, which is the Ice Lord, is definitely the best villain out of these three stories which have come from the Tenth Doctor Adventure Series 2. Um, the Ice Warriors overall, overall are the biggest threat out of these three, and it's actually the first time on Big Finish that the Tenth Doctor has faced an old enemy, uh, because so far up to this story all the enemies that he's faced are all completely original ideas from Big Finish so that is something of note for this story and I think the Ice Warriors and the Tenth Doctor actually work pretty well it is such a shame that we never really saw this in the actual TV series because it took all the way until series 7 with Matt Smith before the Ice Warriors actually turned up in New Who. Um, Ice Warriors, it goes without saying, they're one of the most iconic Doctor Who monsters. They're up there with the likes of the Daleks, the Cybermen, the Sontarans. You know, I can go on. I think that, as I said, the cast are really good, the characters are engaging. As a story though, would I say that is the best story out of the three? Probably not, because there's a few moments in this which I found I was a bit lost with but it's not one which I was completely lost with because I think one of the most interesting parts of the whole story takes place towards the end because it takes place for the most part inside the Doctor's TARDIS and the Ice Lord sort of takes over everything and they're all held captive and 
I think it's brilliant, and there's a really big twist towards the end, which I thought was pretty damn good. And I think that the villain is great, and Nicholas Briggs, as always, does a really tremendously good job. For the most part, though, I think if you compare this to the other two stories in this series, it is pretty much run-of-the-mill. Once again, you have little things like the Tenth Doctor and Rose are separated, and as I've said before, it does get a little bit repetitive. But that's not to say that Billy Piper doesn't shine as Rose Tyler, because she definitely does. She is, of course, one of my favourite companions, it goes without saying. And David Tennant gets a lot to do with this story as well. I think he's really, really revelling in this, the fact that he's finally facing off against the Ice Warriors, because David Tennant, of course, is a Doctor Who fan, and I'm pretty sure he would have been pleased to learn that he was going to be facing off against these cold villains for this story, and it is such a delight. The sound design for this story is great, everything about it is great. I think this story overall is pretty much great. I just think compared to the other two in the second series of these Tenth Doctor audios, I don't think it holds up as well. But I still think it is worth checking out nonetheless. The last line of this story had me laughing as well, because it reminded me a lot of what the last line would have been in uh, Revelation of the Daleks when the Sixth Doctor is about to tell Perry that they're going to go to Blackpool. Because Rose says that she wants to go in a warmer place because the vast majority of this story takes place on Cold Star and there's like, all these freezes and you have Ice Warriors. It's all going to be cold, isn't it? There's not too much to say other than if you're a great fan of Ice Warriors then I'd say definitely give this one a listen. It is my least favourite of this second series of Tenth Doctor Adventures admittedly but I still did have a blast with it. It's not a story which I dislike and again it is one which I think I will be coming back to quite a number of times. Thank you so much for watching this Doctor Who Big Finish review. For more of these subscribe to the channel and take care and I shall see you next time.